Hey, what's going on, guys? And today I'm trying to beat probably one of the weirdest custom zombies map on the Black Ops 3 Workshop. If you've never seen this map, let me introduce you to Poop of the Dead, where you're actually just stuck inside of a stall. You need to do these challenges on the toilet paper, and then you need to go to the boss fight. That first challenge, I just had to get six grenade kills within a time limit. This next one's the plunge challenge, which is actually just melee. Who knew I'd ever be playing zombies where I'm stuck inside of a stall? I'm throwing poop and I'm plunging zombies. One thing I will say about this map is it actually is really hard. You'd think it'd be easy, but they can come in here really easily and then you'll just get trapped. I've also been to the boss fight twice and the boss fight's definitely not easy either. Oh, dude, I'm three kills away. I don't know if they're going to get here in time. Oh, dude, that's so tough. Dude, that's so annoying. You basically do three challenges and then you do an ultimate challenge. And then what it does is it kind of like you upgrade the toilet. Once you upgrade the toilet, you get perks and wonder weapons, basically, and then you gotta try to get to the boss fight with 50k points. I'm actually gonna pack lunch and executioner, because they're a very solid weapon, especially for the headshot challenges. There you go, I did the plunge challenge. I'm gonna start the headshot challenge next round. Alright, and then here's where we unclog the toilet. So then what you do is you flush it, you plunge it, and it'll give you, like, weapons and max ammo, insta-kills. Once you do all the challenges and it gets upgraded, you just have to start plunging it and it gives you all the perks and then you'll start getting better weapons and eventually wonder weapons. If you never play this, if you have Black Ops 3 on PC, I recommend trying it. It looks really stupid, but it's really fun. Sometimes I think the more stupid a map is, the more fun it is, because sometimes it's fun to just not take the game so seriously. Hopefully I can get these 25 headshots done in the next minute. I don't want to have to restart this challenge. Oh, dude, I got it on the last zombie of the round. Thank God. So next round, I'm going to do this ultimate challenge. Alright, it's not even that good because once you upgrade the toilet to gold, you actually just get all the perks once you start plunging it. Dude, meleeing on this map is actually really scary because if you miss one melee or for some reason one melee just hits off really slow and that happens sometimes, you just get stuck in here. I need 10 more plunge kills and I'm going to need one more grenade kill and then I'm going to need normal kills. And again, might as well just keep trying to upgrade this. Okay, now I just need some normal kills which should be pretty easy. I still have 2 minutes to get 54. I need one more kill for the ultimate challenge to be complete. That sucks so much. Okay, I got the ultimate challenge done, but I can't actually focus on upgrading the toilet to the end of this round. Dude, things get hectic in here really easily. Dude, that was close. Holy shit, I was trying to flush the toilet and I missed it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pop my max ammo, dude. Alright, please, something decent, so I can yell at perks. Dude, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna try to flush mid around. Oh, it upgraded to gold. Fucking minigun. Get this, get this. Oh, it's MG08. This has been a very not smooth run. As I said. Dude, I just haven't gotten the perks yet. I'm getting unlucky. I'm gonna try to do it. Here we go. Yeah, I got the upgraded toilet and all the perks now. That's exactly what I needed. Alright, here's where we start getting good things. It costs 10k per. Okay, this is okay. Once we get 50k, we can go to the boss fight, but I want to get some wonder weapons first. I'm going to try to plunge as many of them as I can because you get double points for plunging because of one of the perks. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to try to get it in a second, though. Okay, what is this? Ooh, this is good. That's actually exactly what I wanted. Dude, melee on this high round just scares me. Because if I miss one melee or get knocked back like what just happened there, it can really screw me over. Yeah, kind of like that. Like I said, this map's super hectic. Okay, please give me the Wonder Wall for this Thunder Gun. There we go. Um, wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. I guess I'll just use my Vitriolic Withering as kind of a mobility weapon and a get me out of a situation weapon. And then I'll use my Wonder Off and Thunder Gun for damage on the boss. Dude, look at this shit. Oh my god. There's like a million zombies stacked up in here. Guys, this is a live footage of the Taco Bell bathroom right here. Alright, we should be able to go at the end of the next round. If I have 60k by the next round, I'll actually just flush this one more time and then go. Alright guys, I think we're ready to go. I just gotta try to get the Ascend prompt. It's kinda hard to get it sometimes. 
<laughs> Here we go, dude. Oh man, I'm nervous. <laughs> Featuring the ultra shit. Look how bright this is. Like, I can't even tell what's going on. Dude, what the fuck is he doing? He's wiling out. I hope there's a way to get max ammos in here, because I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough ammo. Oh my god, dude, these little fucking turds. Bro. Oh my god, dude, the platform's getting small. Am I actually going to try to melee him? Oh, I got ammo. Never mind, we're good. I didn't know if you can get max ammos in here. I don't know if there's actually, like, a border I can't walk off of here. Dude, he's taking, like, no damage. Like, look at his health when I shoot him with a thunder gun. The vi oh, wait, actually, the vitriolic withering works on him, so what if I just sit here and keep shooting that and meleeing him? Dude, boys, I think I found the strat for this. Okay, I gotta be careful for the border, though. Dude, I think having the vitriolic withering is so goaded on this. I actually never knew about this. Dude, he has so much health. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. He's gonna start spamming. Dude, I think he's ganging health back. Dude, I'm gonna keep trying the strategy. It's actually working pretty well. Dude, he's so close to dying. The strategy is actually so goaded. I actually thought the strategy would be to use the Thunder Gun and the Wonder Wall for this bitch off withering and actually attracts him, which I never knew. Dude, he's so close. Only a couple more cycles of this. Come on. Oh my god, I got him. Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, wait, what? And where are all those weapons down there? Flush a gun. What does that do? Oh, you just get a weapon out, so now you can just, like, play the game? What is this? Flush all perks? Oh, shit. Okay, I just want to look around real quick. Is there, like, a Bible ending or something? Flush a power-up. Flush a gobble gum. What did I just click? Is there a way to, like, buy the ending, or did I just win? Okay, guys, I think I just beat the map. I don't see what else I can do. Like, do I have to, like, buy every one of these? Here we are. Maybe I have to activate each one of these. I already activated all these more than once. Okay, I think this is the ending. I just wanted to make sure. I'd, be, I'd felt horrible if I missed something. Alright, boys. Well, I, I'm going to assume this is the end. I beat the boss. Now I kind of can't find anything else to do. So I'm just going to assume that I beat it. Because I can't find a Bible ending on the wall anywhere. If you enjoyed this and want to see more custom zombies, let me know. I had a lot of fun doing this. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.